In this tips and tricks video, I'm going to show you some other ways you can search in FlexMLS outside of the quick search. We'll find those options under the menu, under the search heading, and I'm going to show you the MLS number search and the address search. I will begin with the address search and there's a couple different things I can do with this. The first one being I can use it as a way to pull up all the listing history for a specific property in one search. So I'll enter in my house number, street name, street suffix should be all that I need. Now I can scroll down and click on show more. I have an option to include those MLSs that we have a data share with in case this property has been listed in one of those MLSs. Press done. I can select a status. I'm going to leave that blank because I want it to show me all the statuses. And now I can click on search. I can see that this property has been listed six times before in the MLS. And I can come up here and email these listings to my client. The other thing I can do with an address search is that if I remember the street name, but I don't necessarily remember the house number, I can type in that street name, pick any search criteria that I want, press search. And now I'm going to get search results for any listing that has that street name. And I can go through those results to find the listing I was looking for. I will go back to the menu and now I'm going to check out the MLS number search. The MLS number search is the best way to put multiple properties in a search results list. And you do that by their MLS number. So for instance, if I've shown my buyer three properties, I can take those MLS numbers, put them in here, separated by a comma, and then press search. And now all those properties are going to show up in the search results list. I can select them all, hit that save button, and I can either save the search to remember what I have shown my buyers. I can also save it as a collection as well if I want to. And as always, I can click on the three dots here and export these listings into an Excel file. That is everything I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and keep an eye out for more tips and tricks videos in the future.